Number one, put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things. Everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. We need to put God first, even when you're a young person and even an older person that's seeking a lifetime mate. You don't need to judge them by where they work, how much money they make, how much education they have, what kind of car they drive. When that person seeks to be your lifetime partner, you need to hold that person up beside the word of God and put that person in your heart for prayer and ask God whether this is my lifetime partner to put God first. God says put me first and everything works out better. But I tell you, your week go better when you put God on the first day of the week. Your week will not flow if you use the first day of the week as your golf day. It will not flow if you use it as your fishing day. It won't flow if you use it as your family day. But I declare that if you start your week Because I believe that success in living for God is not an emotion, it's not a buzz, it's not a feeling, it's squaring our shoulders back and saying, Lord, I'm placing you absolutely first in my life. I place him first. And then watch him. Just put God first in those plans. Your plans are not wrong. You're trying your best to follow after the will of God. But put him first in those plans. Insert him at the beginning of those plans and give him license to change whatever he needs. Your plans are okay, but put him first. stuff. No. What do we have in our hand right now? Whatever you've got, start putting him first right now. The power to put God first is already in our hand. God must be first. And included in that thought is leading our families into the same mindset and unshakable heart conviction that God must be first in our lives. Think of what Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I'm going to lead them into this thing. If you'll put God first in your life and talk to your kids, this is why we go to church. This is why, you know, Daddy reads the Bible. This is why we give God the first part of our income. And they will see the fruit of God.